Good evening, everyone. My name is Rich Edwards. I am the uh, conductor of the Owu Symphonic Wind Ensemble. You just heard our guest conductor, Dr. John Locke, who will be featured uh, beginning tomorrow and then on Saturday with the Owu High School Honor Band. Uh, it is now my also pleasure and privilege to introduce Junior Gavin Abrams, who will entertain us with a trombone solo on Thoughts of Love.
Our next work is the second movement of a historic uh, piece for wind ensemble, La Fiesta Mexicana. The second movement is titled Mass, and this is the perfect space to perform this second movement for you, featuring some of the, uh, as some have put it, the most famous chords in band history. Uh, but it is also a very uh, spiritual, thoughtful, and poignant uh, movement and that's why I wanted to share it with you. We wanted to share it with you this evening. This is H. Owen Reed's La Fiesta Mexicana, Second Movement, Mass.
Thank you, Band. That was, oh, that felt so good. <laughs> uh, we are really going to change gears right now for the last part of our concert. Um, a popular new buzzword in wind ensemble and band literature is flex ensemble. Uh, basically, it can represent any type of flexibility you might need to meet the needs of your group. Sometimes we can't always find all the kids covering all the parts we need, and a flex ensemble allows us to move parts around to fit the needs of our ensemble. Uh, this next work is called Sweet Treats, and it originally features five movements written by five different composers. We're going to share three of those movements with you tonight. Each one is designed so that any member of the band can move from first part to second, third, fourth, or fifth part uh, based on the mood or the needs of our um, artistic expression. Uh, the first piece up is called Focal Point by Brian Balmages. Usually, we would move from movement to movement without any applause, and I'm not expecting applause, uh, but I am trying to buy a little time for our percussion section as they manage to set up a lot of different equipment. But I'd also like to introduce the second movement called Neon Core, because I need to uh, warn you or advise you, it's going to sound very different. It's composed by one of my former colleagues here at Ohio Wesleyan, Jennifer Jolly. And uh, here's a bit of the story that she was thinking of when she wrote it. She was working with a band, and she wanted to find something that the kids would find fresh and hip and that they would call a bop. <laughs> and she also wanted it to reflect some urban electronica, which she is also very fascinated and excited by. So listen for not only uh, the sound of our wind ensemble, listen not over some very... Uh, hip sounds, but there will also be some electronic recorded music accompanying us as well. This is Neon Core by Jennifer Jolly. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, and one more, uh, the last of our flex tunes this evening is by composer Frank Tichelli. It's called Moving On, and it is the fifth movement of Sweet Treats. It's intended to keep the energy moving and finish on a strong note. This is Moving On by Frank Tichelli. So thank you for coming out this evening and getting a taste of the Owu Music Festival. This is the launching performance and there is more to come. Tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. we have students coming from all over Ohio. From the northeast corner to the southwest Cincinnati and the central regions, uh, we have over 225 middle school and high school students headed our way tomorrow morning. We cannot wait to get them started on rehearsals, feeding them, sectionaling them, uh, and helping them grow as musicians. Uh, I love honor ensemble festivals. Uh, it's a great opportunity for like-minded students to meet other budding musicians, form new friendships in a very exciting, compact schedule. Uh, I hope you'll come back for the grand finale concert Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. right here in Great Chapel. We will begin with the Owu Middle School Honor Band, conducted by Melissa Grimes. We will then go to the Owu High School Honor Band, conducted by our guest conductor this evening, Dr. John Locke. Then we'll shift gears and we'll feature the Owu Middle School Choir, conducted by Libby Hainahar. And we will close out with the Owu High School Honor Choir, conducted by Hilary Applestott. We will also feature in all combined choirs, as well as both middle school, high school choirs, and our own Owu Choral Arts Society. It is a bonanza event. It is sure to please, and I hope you'll tell your friends and family and come on back. Uh, it's a great way to finish out your Saturday and then sit back and do some Super Bowling on Sunday. So thank you all for coming out this evening. Our last performance or our last tune is called Song of the Fjords and it features some Scandinavian flavors. Thank you for coming and enjoy our last number.